We're back with another One Love Review. How are you? <laughs> Anywho, today we're going against the grain. We, we're doing something that we know ain't healthy for us. We know it. The air fryers are where it's at. They are the bomb. And we don't really eat fry food. Yeah. But we're frying today. We got a deep fryer. From T Fall. I thought T Fall was just glassware, but apparently they make other stuff. Um, so yeah, Intertech. They didn't box. I mean, this is the box. I mean, it's yeah, it's cut and dry. So we ain't gonna hold you. We're gonna get into it. Yeah. Shouldn't be much to this. The deep fryer. I've had a little tiny deep fryer in the past. Nothing. They could have done better with a box, though. I mean, yeah. it's like nothing. It's like, I don't know what I'm like. Nothing. I don't know. I'm not impressed <laughs> with this brown box. Yeah, they, they definitely were saving money. But I, I don't know. Advertisement. A yeah. little bit. There's no That's advertisement. It's a nice size. Right? Mm hmm. It is. Got a little size that size to it. Mm -hmm. We got a lot going on here. Uh, the, I guess that's the lid. Pretty sure you're gonna want to rinse all this off. So yeah. we got the lidy lid. Oh, the grease gonna be popping on the glass, but you can still look in now. Mm-hmm. Okay, there's the lidy lid. We got a basket. Try to get this basket up out of her. Okay. So we got our power core energy. I guess we gotta find a new source energy. Yeah, there we go. Power core. We'll throw that over there. Get that ready to go. Alright. Then we have. Hold on, babe. Let me. Uh, well, I, mean, I don't need that. I know. Let me see that real quick, though, please. I'm just Let trying to rinse it, it. I know. Next, we have the basket, and this is the handle for the basket. It has little prongs going here, like that, and then pops back on it. Yeah, there it is. There's the the basket. There you go, babe. You can have a bag. Let's see. That's a lot of cardboard. Let's see, how does this? I gotta figure out how to get the cardboard out. If I had instructions for unpacking. Do I have to unscrew something? Oh, okay. So the whole element comes out. So there's your element. Got your temps. Uh, okay. So we'll pull this off. A lot to this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so again, there is your heating element for that. T fall on the back. If your fryer does not work anymore, push the reset button. <clears throat> Power button on the side. Okay. Let's see. Got some more gorillas in the mist. Tell you what, a lot of cardboard. That's why they ain't put no pictures on the outside because they had to pay for all this cardboard. Couldn't afford no print. We got, we got papers. Uh, disposing. Storing. I'll let you have those. Um, instructions. Yeah. What? Really? You don't want the instructions? That's a first. And this air fryer? I mean, this. Uh, oh, yeah. Definitely not air fryer. It's that 
deep, deep, deeper than Atlantis, deeper than the sea floor. Okay, this one I have to definitely clean up. Got the bottom. Yeah, the bottom of the bottom. That's your pan. All right. All right. So, okay, this must this must be a catch basin. Let's see if I can how that comes out. Out, but it comes out. I just gotta figure it out. But anyway, on the bottom, you have a plastic pan to catch all of your grease. So you can see inside of there, it catches all the grease at the bottom. So um, there's a little drain on the basket right there, or the, the deep pan. And it goes over the little hole. So you can either reuse it or pour it out. All right, thank you. So yeah, there's a little catch all, catch all the crumbs and stuff, but the grease will flow out the bottom into this bottom tray. All right, okay, I see you. I see you bobbing your head. Okay. Automatic oil filtration. All right, so on the front, that's push it here, and then it'll all the oil will come out into the bottom pan. So, all right. Well, we ain't gonna hold you. We're gonna try to see what this thing do. Does this go here? Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know nothing about this this brand or how it works. This side up. Okay, we'll get the power on now. Huh. This magnetized. Magnetized! It's short. Very short. It could have had a lot longer cord. That's gonna be. That's very awful. short. Yeah. Strike one right there. Short cord. Nobody can do nothing with that. Because this stays on with a magnet. So any pulling on it, it's gonna come off. And they do that for safety reasons, I get it. But it's still, it's super it's awkward. Yeah, it's just super. So we got the- Put it like that, just put it Yeah. There. Go ahead and plug it in first. All right. Yeah, so, plug, just plug it in first. It's plugged in now, so. But yeah. even so, that's yeah, just... and it doesn't it doesn't stick on there. Great, there we go. Don't want it too much. <laughs> so we already got one issue we have with this product. You need to do something about that. That plug, hmm. make it longer and make it where it attaches a little bit better than this little magnet. Cause you barely touch it and it falls off. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I guess your basket goes in this way. Then your top. Yep. I think the way you're doing it. I think this was like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Okay. I mean, it looks it looks good. I mean, just here. Let me just take this off for now, so I can show y'all the. What it looks we got. good. Got your handles on the side. Keep you from burning yourself. You know, great looking from the top. Basket lid. Take your lid off, pull your basket out, put it back in. I'm just not a fan of uh, uh, deep fryers. Yeah. I use air fryers for everything. Yeah, not an air fryers or out in, it's a But thing. even prior to then, I used to bake everything. I didn't really fry fish or I chicken. had a small, I had a small yeah. fryer. And it's a mess and it causes a huge mess everywhere. Uh, we never use it here. I use it. At, I did. I used it here. Oh, you did use yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. Last time I used it was years ago. Yeah, it was very messy. That's yeah. why I don't care for oil. And it, the yeah. house becomes messy and oily mm -hmm. and greasy and yucky. But this one has a nice lid and a filtration mm -hmm. lid. So hopefully it makes a difference. We'll see. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to fry some chicken. Okay. So what do we do? Just pour some oil in it? 
Yep. Somebody didn't read the directions, and I don't know. I'm guessing just going by the man way of doing things. Pour some oil on it, turn it on, get it to bubbling, and drop something in it. Well, at least go ahead and set it. Uh, what am I setting? To? Well, ain't no oil in it. <sighs> I know, but you could at least set it, and then we put the oil in. No? No, I need to put the oil in, then set it. Oh. Because, I mean, with no oil in it, you're just... I'm just saying set it. I didn't say press on. I just said no, once it. you turn it on, it's going to... It gonna, turns on? Yeah. It, so, you know, so this on button doesn't mean anything? Oh, okay. So what do you want to set your um, chicken to, baby? Baby! Again, I don't... This is... Some odd numbers. Like you're used to 350, right. 375. They got 302, 320, 338, 356. Is that a normal thing? Anybody else use a deep fryer? Is that a normal thing to have off numbers like that? Okay, so. Okay, yeah. So the power button, you can set it to hit the power button, but. Okay. Say we just pour some oil and go. Pour it and go, pour it and go. It's funny, like it says, <clears throat> do not um, let the cord hang over edge of table or counter or touch hot surfaces. Do not place um, like in the corners, but the, the cord is so little, you have to put it all the way close. Yeah. Yeah. Upgrade your, your thing, Keep all your cord. So... Ooh, wally wally. Okay, I already know we need to take that out to put the chicken in. Um, oil! Yeah, so what? go ahead and go get the oil. Peanut allergies, you won't use what we got. We got peanut oil. Um... And we're gonna just... The most healthy is probably extra virgin, but who fries with extra virgin oil? But coconut oil, you can fry with coconut oil and it tastes good. And in the islands, we do that. We All day cocoa. Nut. Ugh, that's... How much do I want to fill it up? So max is 14 cups. 14. Minimum is 12 cups. Right, that's so much. It's right there. I know, but it doesn't look like it's a lot, right? No, it don't it like doesn't it's, look like it's 14 it's cups. It doesn't look like there's enough to See, it says submerge. max, 14 cups. Huh. Minimum four, 12 cups. Yep. We only go by what they And it use. says for best results, we recommend vegetable oil. Well, for our business, we're going with this. So <laughs> there it is. It is what it is. I guess that's a lot. Now that, because the pan. Well, the chicken has to be. Um, Submerged. Yeah, and it doesn't. It's going to be this whole bottle. It looks that way. Yeah, it really does. Yes. That's Very it. close to it. That's it, Max. It says don't go over that because it's going to. Yeah. But uh, it took almost that whole entire bottle. And this bottle mm. is what? One gallon? I don't know how many cups in a gallon, but. Yeah. Product of Argentina, Brazil, India, Nicaragua, Senegal. In the United States. It's funny because it gives me problems and solutions. Like the food is too thick, contains too much water. If it can't get golden, it remains soft. But I just hit the power button to turn that thing on. A little red light lit up and I got it on 356. Okay, well then let's go ahead and put the chicken. We have to put the lid on because... Let it heat up. Let it heat up, right? Mm -hmm. I, I, don't, I don't know anything about uh, these things. Again, I don't use it. Maybe you should be the one reading this. Ah, let's just put some chicken in there. Leave this here. I don't up. want to get burned. Let's stick some chicken in there, and this is go when we drop it in. How about that? Okay. So we're gonna let this warm up for about how long? Do you think about five minutes? Take to get this to bubbling. Cause you don't want to put chicken in there if it's cold. You want no. To, yeah. It's you, just I mean I do know how to fry chicken. I just don't use this stuff. I just don't. I'm just trying to see if I feel heat. 
Is the light on? Yeah, the light is on. We got power, red light. I hit the power button. I got it on 356. And that is 180 Celsius. Well, I have some Canadian friends prepared. out there. Joe, Larry, Joe. Okay, well, he's my Canadian about guys. Go ahead, what you got? Go ahead, tell them about your chicken, babe. They want to know about the chicken. No, I'll go ahead and keep reading the book and so we don't get burn our house down. Huff and puff. I'm just waiting to see if it heats up. How long that's going to take? Start about 827. Let's see what we got, baby, baby. So it has, uh, your appliance is equipped with an overheating security feature. If you use your fryer without oil, who was, who's going to use it? Deep fryer without oil. Um, if the overheat function is activated, the appliance will shut off automatically. Wait until the heating element has completely cooled at least 30 minutes. To reset the fryer, push the reset button. And the reset button, did you find the reset button? I did not. It's on the back. Oh yeah, here it is on the yeah. back. Mm -hmm. Little button says reset. Yes. We got this. You ain't gonna tell them about the chicken. Look, season it. It looks like a little seasoning on it. Well, I season the chicken um, first because I like my chicken seasoned. Who does it? Well, there's a lot of people who don't season chicken and just season the flour, and they like to eat chicken like that. Oh. And there's tons of people who do that. Like tons of people who do that. So you season the chicken, then season the flour. And I season the flour as well. Mm. I concur. Because when you uh, bite into the chicken when it's crispy, if you don't season the flour, there's like no taste to it. But now you should have taste through and through. And I have marinated it, so the chicken has flavor. Marinated that chicken. All right, so I, I see the oil moving. It so is. it's heating up. Yeah, look like, look like it's doing one of these things. Like it's like oh, I see. it's on a trip or something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. But um is Yes. It's on oil box? Yes. Is it supposed to stay on that or is fry? Or or is that just I don't understand what that means. I don't know. <laughs> you have the instructions? I know, but I still don't really see anything. Yeah, we got it on fry, put it in the middle on fry. Automatic oil filtration. I guess oil box means you can pull the Place box the on the box bottom. Place the oil box control out. button on the oil box. Place the oil box control button on the oil box position and insert the empty oil box into the fryer. Mm -hmm. Turn control button to the fry position, mm -hmm. Okay, which we just did. Completely unfold the basket handle and click indicates that it is correctly positioned. Ensure that the oil box is in place and empty. So maybe, um, we got instructions, we got instructions. I know, but it doesn't seem so, it doesn't seem like, I, I don't know, it's not. Fresh potatoes or french fries? Frozen potato or french fries? Max, maximum safety capacity. Chicken nuggets, apple fritters, mushrooms, fish fillets. Um, is there more on another page? I don't see chicken. French fries, French fries, fish fillets, fish nuggets, frozen shrimp. And these are like frozen things, not like yeah. fresh. Yes. <clears throat> this is hater, hater of the It's taking chicken. too long for me. I like my kasori, um... Yeah, you can heat, you can warm it, water, yeah. preheat, boom, couple of minutes. You no, know, I was talking about my tea, my water. Oh, the kasori kettle, that thing, yeah. instantly, is bubbling. As soon as you turn it on, it's the bubbles start coming up in the water. Don't take long at all for that thing. To, 
and watch the review. Check out the Kasori water kettle. For safety and for the crispiest results, dry food items thoroughly before it mm. doesn't really, See? I don't really know to tell you the truth. What do you have it on? I have it on fry. No, the temperature. 356. 356? Mm -hmm. That's weird. Like not 350, not 360. Yeah, they, could they have it in Celsius? From but they also Canadian have friends, it like I said. In Fahrenheit as well. Yeah, but the Celsius is even. Yeah, I see that. Which would mean yeah. that the Fahrenheit wouldn't be. So it's made this. Canadian. I, I think Canadians made this because the first. It says it was made in the United States. It's funny that in, it's made in the United States because the very first instructions, when you read the book, is in French. <laughs> then you have to go in the back for English. So English is not the first. If it's made in the United States, English is not the first language. Yeah, I read off all the countries that it makes it. <clears throat> Most of them were in South America. Yeah, so it's French first. And this goes to Denver, Colorado. It's definitely French first. You don't need that. Put that in the box. Yeah, I don't know if I would even be using this, to tell you the truth, as long as it's taking this to heat up. I feel the heat, though. I now feel the heat in the I don't see nothing room. bubbling. Things yeah. are just... I'm going to go up to the max setting. I don't want to get burned. Don't nobody want to be burned, girl. Ain't nobody want to be burned. Mm -hmm. It's how many minutes? I feel, Seven. Oh, now I hear it. Oh, yes. I was going to say, I feel like um, SpongeBob SquarePants, where it says... <laughs> Two hours later. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, it's, it's getting hot. I feel the heat. The oil is moving. Um, I mean, I, I don't know. It's been eight minutes. Do you want to go ahead and... No, I don't want to put chicken in cold oil. It's not cold. Well, I don't see it bubbling or doing anything. You don't see that oil moving in there? Oh, now I do. Now I see it. It's not hard to see. Well, I couldn't see it from over there. Yeah, that thing is dancing in there. Okay. It's got the LCD on it. Oh, well, sorry, LSD. But... Well, let's go ahead and put some chicken in and see what happens here. I'm going to put one or you're going to put all three? No, I'm going to put all three. All That's three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know one thing. When you take it out of the grease, you're going to need a pan or something under it. Because that's going to be dripping oil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you have to think ahead as far as that's concerned. You take that basket out with all that grease. It's going to cause a mess. Yeah. Okay. It, it was ready. We underestimated it. Did exactly. Well, it was just ready. Because Man. it should, that's how it should sound. You shouldn't be putting chicken in grease and this is That thing was hot. As soon as she put it in there, it just. Oh. I can smell the season, so it's got the filter here. Smoke coming out. I'm glad it has this top on it. But the little glass window it has, it's fogged up already. So you really can't see in it. Ooh, smells delicious though. It does. <laughs> it does. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't smell. She lost the smell, y'all. And I really can't taste that well either. Lost the taste, y'all. Yes. I'm gonna have to eat it for. And let y'all know how it tastes. But I'm telling you now, that's aroma. That's aroma. I right smell there. nothing. It's crazy. I smell absolutely nothing. Babe, I don't think it's healthy for you to stand right on let all that. What, from steam, the smell? The steam. It's not hot? No. But I'm not I'm not standing right directly over well, it either. It looks like it. It looks like you're right no. there. Look, that thing is going right up in your No, it's not hitting me. If it was hot, I'd be done jump back, but it ain't. <laughs> Yeah, I don't smell anything, so it's I... It's water vapor, too, so... It's 
Skywriter. <laughs> so what time did we put it in? Um, 8.36? 8.36. I don't know how long to leave it. 8.37. How long do you leave it? Um, I don't know because I don't use this. Um, let's say 15, well, it's chickens for sure. Oh, yeah, so gotcha. you definitely want yeah. to have chicken cooked. Yeah. So why don't we just... How many uh, minutes did it say for frozen uh, fish stick things, whatever? Fish fillet. Fish fillet. 15, 15 seven to eight four minutes. Four to five minutes for shrimp. Uh, what do you, what do you, the length? Yeah. Seven to eight, seven minutes. eight minutes. But that's also at the highest setting. At the highest setting. In all the, yes, I got it on the highest setting. So, well, well done. So, but fish cooks very fast. You could put fish in, the thing is one, two, three. So, why don't we just leave that? If that's at seven to eight minutes, let's do 10 to 12 minutes for chicken and then we can check it. Yeah, because it is still bleeding. Um, you might want to go ahead and get you a tray. That way, when you take it out, you just set it down. Okay. Deep fried, baby, baby. And like she said, we don't deep fry foods. I mean, so what I would use this for is to do like some deep fried treats, like deep fried ice cream or deep fried. Uh, Reese's cups, or deep fried Snickers, you know, something, something for dessert, something you can deep fry. And I would not eat any of that. I don't know, I've, I've had Tribe Called Quest in my head lately. Now you caught my heart for the evening. Guess my cheek moved in, you confused then. Help me find my way. I think it. Mm -hmm. Mess me up, my whole head teasing me just like Tisha did Martin. Now look at what you're starting. You know, she don't know the song. <laughs> right. You know that song? No. That's the tribe. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm ready to look. I'm just ready to just to see. Just okay. to see what we well, got. Well, I mean, just be careful. I'm oh, extremely... you, want me to, you want me to take it out? Oh, yeah. I probably won't oh, have to yeah. with this. Oh, um, yeah. I'm scared to get burned. Okay. It's got some heat. And I don't like messes. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Let's see. Uh -uh, that's not done, honey. We want chicken to be hard the first time. You try it. <laughs> it's not done. So I like that. You can just sit it there. Oh, yeah. It looks... Really, really, really yeah, good, though. It's getting there. But it's not done. Okay. Go back in. Woo! Yeah. See how it all splatters? And that means that's going to be oil all over the place. And, oh, it's more to cook, clean. I'm, I'm like a... Total fry. Yeah, I don't, that's why I don't fry. I don't like that. I don't like your kitchen to be greasy and your appliances to be greasy. I don't like any of that. I don't like the grease. Mm -mm. So what did you do before air fryer? Oven. Oh, bake. I baked everything. I baked my chicken and I baked it crispy. So you thought I fried the chicken, but I didn't. And I did fry before a little bit, but I put very little bit of oil in the pan. And I would do it, and then I have to clean air. We take the whole stove apart, and do, I didn't do it often. Mm. It's not my thing. So we put it in there for you said thirty-six, so eight minutes. That was eight, or another eight. Probably, I would say by eight fifty. Yeah, eight fifty should be done. Okay. Just a little burn. <laughs> Alright, so All right, so we're going to take it out in another five to six minutes. For you, it's going to be three, two, one. Alright, we're taking it out now. We're going to get her out, get her done. Please grab this fork, please, baby, baby. Ooh. Oh my goodness. I'm just so scared of that. 
so you were here thinking, but you really, you're, you're good if you. Yeah. I, I'm just so scared. The oil's gonna. She is so scared. I am. I'm very. Don't be scared. This is why I don't fry because. Don't be scared. When I was younger and I would fry. Put that one back in a little bit, babe. Okay. Well, I wanna. I want you to cut those open to see what we got first. Can I get a knife from over there for me? Yes. Um. I'm trying to figure out where to set this, but let's put it right there. Woo! <laughs> oh yeah, that one just needs to be turned. Oh, and it's, it, it's not done. It's not done? It's not done, but I mean, look how beautiful it looks though. Yeah. It does look very nice. There's a reason why they started frying. Wasn't because it didn't come out good. I mean, look, look at that. That does look. Yeah, it looks very. Very nice. appetizing. We ain't gonna hold you, but we're gonna put it back in there for another what? Five? How how what you think? Five? Another five minutes. Okay. Ooh. Uh uh, honey. I I don't want to get burned. You ain't never too, cooked bacon. I'm too light for that. <laughs> Uh, so stirred. You ain't cook bacon? That bacon grease is popping. That hurts. It does. And again, we used to cook bacon in the oven. It's the birthday. I think these two don't fly very much. <laughs> Just looking through, I can see the island all full of grease over here. Can you get all that for me? Yeah. I mean, it is going to be greasy. Right. It doesn't mean we got to keep it that way. I mean, definitely got to clean up behind it. But it's all good. Mm, not for me. It wouldn't be a thing for me. Air fryers have spoiled us. We are spoiled with the air fryers. Again, Easier even, clean even if it wasn't for the air fryer, I never owned one of these because yeah. of that. I do like that it says it automatically filters and stores the clean oil for future mm -hmm. use. Yep, right in the bottom. Mm-hmm. Well, this is taking a long time for me. Yeah, we're spoiled. The air fryer, you put that time on, boom, it's done. This, not so much. I mean, I guess it's the same thing, but I guess because I'm new to it, we're just here kind of like babying it and watching it. Mm -hmm. As opposed to the air fryer, I put the stuff in there, put you the time on, and I, I leave, right? I go do other things. Mm -hmm. This is gonna, and the air fryer, I don't have a whole lot to clean up afterwards. Clearly I have to clean it up, but this, it's I'm going to have to clean the, the island. I'm gonna have to mm -hmm. clean the floors. I'm gonna have to clean like everything around because the grease is still splattering, and when he opens that, it splatters up, so it's going places for sure. And that's what I don't like. I don't like that big cleanup. This would be good to use outside in the pavilion. When you got a cookout or something, yeah. take this outside, you can fry in this outside. Yeah. Actually, that's probably a good thing. That's mm -hmm. probably what I would use it for. Because yeah. we have a big outside mm -hmm. um, entertainment area. So that is something that I probably would do. Yeah. 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 I concur. Yep. All right. Well, let's see what we got. Ooh. Now you are alive. Well, no, all right. Ooh, Way back hot. here. Oh, I see that grease just popping oh, and popping. Yeah, it, once you pop, you can't stop. But it's like when you bring that um, basket up, it's like the popping stops. It's like underneath the basket. So let's just uh, cut this open. Yeah, that's cooked. It's cooked through. Yeah, now you all out. I just want to make sure that they're all cooked through. No pink. That's good. And that's the one we. This is the one that I um. Was worried about. Had reservations on only because. It's so thick. It was sticking it's a up thick out one. of. Yeah, it was sticking <laughs> up out of the. Oh, oh, but it. It's a thick one, but it, it looks like it's cooked. 
Yeah. I would a tiny bit. See that? Mm hmm. I'm scared of uh, uncooked chicken. We'll uh, do that with be. a little bit. And then we could try these. Okay. Woo! Well, I knew I was going to put it in. Mm -hmm. It sounds angry. Angry! Put the top on, babe. Hurry, hurry. The lid is hot. I wish there was a better way to handle the lid than when I take it off, set it on something. All right, well, me and babe are going to try these two pieces of chicken here. Yeah, let me, get, let me get some of mine on a plate. Oh, it's yours and more. And I'm going uh, to show them that gold medal brown. It's that golden brown. You are hot. It's golden brown. Nice and golden brown. Ooh, the heat coming off of it. Now, I'm going to put the chicken in here. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to put the chicken in here. Now, I'm going to put the chicken in here. Now, I'm going to put the chicken in here. Now, I'm going to We try these honey things before, and this is a hot honey, mm. and it says it's good on pizza, ribs, wings, and burger. So I'm gonna drizzle some of this. It's spicy. If you didn't watch when we did the sous vide honey infusion, the different honey, that's what we tried. A here. nice honey uh, spice on the chicken. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Now you are out. Mm, that's good. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. My taste buds are starting to come back. But I can smell still. Mm. <clears throat> now you all out. Good. But honestly, we fried this. In oil, I think that putting it in the air fryer is better. It has more flavor. You can have, you can taste all the flavors way better. Oh, I need a drink. I'm up. Mm. This thing here is good on the chicken. The hot honey. That's spicy though. I remember when, it's not we, that spicy. when we tried it last time, she said that. Go back and watch the review. He she had nothing that, to put it on. That thing had my tongue. Of dancing. course, but he had nothing to put it on. Now you are. Right. You can taste the honey. Trying to burn my little mouth. Now you are. Right. All right, oh, I might be too much. It's hot, it's piping hot. Habanero, right on the thumb. The honey do taste good on it though. But that habanero hit me right, bam, right there on the side of my tongue. That do taste good with that on there though. It wasn't so spicy, I drizzle my whole thing with it. Oh, hot. Oh, hot. Oh, hot. Hard to trade that one out now. I'm going to move back. Raise the roof. Why don't you raise the roof, take this one out, and why don't you put your special one in? Oh, yeah, I got a special one I'm going to do. No, we can end I haven't done it yet, but I'm and get ready to. So, I got a special piece of chicken for myself. So for my chicken, I got some salt and vinegar seasoning. It's dry rub. I'm gonna put some in my, my flour though and then dip it and then put the dry rub on it. But I've been wanting some salt and vinegar wings for the longest. I ain't really found nobody to make me none. So I, I saw these, they have different ones as well. They have like a, I want to say about 12 different varieties. Most of them hot. But this is from 
Co- Cosmos? Cosmos? Cosmos, but spelled K O S M O S. Cosmos. Wing dust. Great on wings and other things. Bars. Oh, uh, Let me uh, get this open. Ooh, whoa, that's seasoning. I don't open it too much. It's coming out, coming out. I didn't tear that good. Oh, there we go. That should be good. So we'll put some on, on there like that. And we'll dry rub the rest. Oh, I mm, the vinegar. It's all in my nose. Hands on my knees, hands on my knees. Get funky with it. How low can you go? Can you go down low? All the way to the floor? Can you take it to the top? Like you just don't stop? Oh, that's gonna, that's gonna bubble up. That's not gonna bubble up. My husband made a mess. I made a mess. I did. No, don't. Uh -uh, that's dry. Don't worry. This is wet. Okay. <laughs> Trying to open it all nice and neat. I should just went stuff everywhere. But I'm gonna drop this on in here. That's a nice little drop there. And again, that's a dry rub, so I'll dry, I'll put some more on there once it comes out. I'm gonna finish off this piece right here, so. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Good. You good with some honey on there? I know the habanero's in there, but. It's really it does not. good with. It's not a lot. Says the person who likes spicy. Says the person who likes spicy oh, reasonably. Let me, let me I don't like a whole lot. Look, I only put a lot. He wants more. I drizzled and now he's putting lots. <laughs> Difference of opinion in what a drizzle is. No, a drizzle is a drizzle. Like this, it's a lot. Mm -hmm. Now you all out. Mmm. It's a ripple. Mm hmm. It's dead. Mm hmm. It's got honey on there, tastes good. Mm hmm. That right blends with the seasoning. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> she finishing it all off. Well, I'm not gonna leave nothing to be <laughs> wasteful. Mmm, 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 let us know your, you know, in the comment, what you think about frying now? Now we have air fryers, and do you feel like frying is still better, or have you transitioned over to air frying? Frying can never be better. It's not healthy. Yeah, he as far as health wise, it's definitely not healthy. And the older we get, we have to be more mindful. Hmm. A lot more mindful. I gotta get my mindful back in. Order. <laughs> Been a roller coaster ride. But I think it's time to slim slow. But she don't like when I get too small, so it's like, I don't know. If I lose weight, it's gonna be like 30, 40 pounds. But she don't like that. I don't because why do you have to it has to be so extreme? Where his eyes look really big and his, everything just, he looks completely different. Really? <laughs> He's such a clown. Mm -hmm. 
Now you all out. <laughs> All right. So that's all that's left to do is fry my one special piece of chicken. She has some more she's going to fry up so she can take the work with her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we'll cut to this finishing in three, two, one. All right, we are getting ready to take out my salt and vinegar chicken. Gonna make it do what it do up in here. Oh, I can see the salt and vinegar on it. That's for sure. Get the salt and vinegar on it. Oh, looks juicy. Not cooked all the way Needs though. It'll be more cooked though. So we're gonna drop that back in there for about tres minutos. <laughs> now you are right. <laughs> so we'll be right back in two minutes. Alright, so let's get this out of here and uh, Make it do what it do. I should have did it. Go ahead and grab that for my baby, baby. Lady, lady. Nice. Oh, now I just gotta dry bulb it up. Ooh, that's hot on the fingers. Hot on the fingers. Hot on the fingers. Mm, you know, I'm just gonna bowl and just. Um, yeah, if you, if you have one. Get the, um... The shake, shake, shake. The one on the top, and then just put it in there. No, one of the, the soup bowls that we have. Yeah, it's nice and deep. Put that in there, and then just shake it up. Shake it up, shake it up. There you go. Now you the shaker. Shake it fast, but watch yourself. Shake it fast. Show me what you're working with. Danger! Oh, that's not that shaking. So that is, yeah, let her do that. I ain't scared of the oil, but you're shaking that and it's gonna come all out. Well, because now it's all hard, so and you yeah, have it like all. all See, so she's using her hand. She ain't shake it. Well, it's hard. How can I shake it if it's hard? <laughs> Nothing has happened, baby. Yeah, shake yeah. it, baby. And it's 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 like in a lot of places already. So yeah. you don't want to have like. Yeah, you're right. Globs of that. Yeah. Oh, ooh, that looks seasoned. <laughs> okay, here we go with the the dryer rub. Here's the rub. Why are you hiding? Because <laughs> the short I know, but you are right here. So why don't you just come right here? I feel like I'm pushing you out of the screen. That's okay. I'm taking center stage. Yeah. Anywho, so this is salt and vinegar. You ready? I'm not the one eating it. You I'm are. I'm scared. Hmm. Tastes like the salt and vinegar potato chips. Hmm. I ain't mad at it. Mm. And that chicken is hot. Mm -hmm. Is the juice is just gushing out? It is hot. The dry rub is good. The chicken is good. I like it. I mean, it's a deep fryer. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, yeah, it does what it says it's gonna do. You know, it's a good good size. So if you're in the market for a deep fryer, it is a good deep fryer. The box is not very uh, mm -hmm. welcoming, or mm. but mm. Mm. it seems to be nice. It's a great size. Hot baby. Again, I probably won't use that again in my house. Well, I don't like the mess. Yeah, but for you people who do fry, I will put a link to this in the description below, mm -hmm. and I also put a link to the salt and vinegar dry rub, along with all the other flavors they have. 
Because that was pretty good. I ain't mad at it. Mm -hmm. Well, let me try it. Yeah, get your, get your little bite. Hope you can taste it. <laughs> Ooh. It's hot. Mm-hmm. About burn my mouth twice. It's definitely hot. Mm-hmm. I can taste it. Can you? Mm-hmm. Not bad, right? Mm-mm. Definitely salt and vinegar. Well, there you have it. That was a one-shot deal. Probably won't ever do another frying <laughs> anything on this channel. Well, I'm not. I take that back. Well, he right. wants to try like the fried Oreos and stuff yeah. like that. And maybe when we're outside, we'll yes. do that stuff. Yeah, yeah. during like the summer, or spring, or something. Yeah, yeah. Go outside. And I'm do all it. for that. Just not in my house. Yeah, but if you're interested in getting this machine, this T fall, it actually works really well. Um, the only thing we haven't done is use the drain, but I'm pretty sure it's going to work mm -hmm. as is. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, link will be in the description. Make sure you give this video a like, subscribe, and um, we'll see you in the next video. Alrighty. Until next time, be good and 